Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip in Blender Cycles uh, covering the light fall off and uh, additionally the black body node and uh, these are two nodes that control both the temperature and the um, fall off of your light. Um, now these are two uh, really handy nodes to have when you're trying to have um, go for more uh, realistic artificial lighting, uh, especially indoor lighting uh, from th uh, things like uh, incandescent bulbs and such. So I'll just go over real briefly how each of these two nodes works and um, yeah, let's just get started. Uh, so the first one I'm going to go over real quickly is the light falloff node and to put it quite simply this node basically determines um, at what point the the light uh, starts to well fall off from the source um, you've got quadratic which is the uh, most realistic which is the closest to how light behaves in the real world how, you know how it falls off and if you can see if I go ahead and disconnect that node you can see there's barely any change uh, in the scene. Uh, emission nodes by default are set with a quadratic feature. So why this is even included in the options, I don't know. Uh, maybe there are um, other uses for it aside from just plugging it into um, an emission node. The next one is linear. Now this one is a little bit less realistic, but just in case you want to get um, you want your lights to fall off to be a little less impactful, um, or I guess more impactful would be the right term. Uh, this one will make your uh, lights glow uh, a little bit brighter, and you know already I can see this is might be a, just a little too harsh. Um, I like the amount of light that in here but um, I, I don't like uh, how um, hot it, it looks in some of these areas so uh, recently the, the, the light fall off on the, for the light fall off node uh, the blender team added this new feature called smooth and if we go ahead and increase that a bit we can see that it makes those areas a little less intense Yeah, and you can uh, play around with these uh, features and and see what works uh, best for you. So that's linear. I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to zero. Now, if we take constant and plug that into strength, you can see there's uh, practically no fall off at all. In fact, I would dare say there's there's no fall off. And uh, this is um, I can't think of. Uh, time when you would use this. In fact, uh, right now I have it set to 200 samples and I have a feeling that if I were just to you know, just let this go, eventually it would get to a point where this whole screen would just be all white. In fact, you can, you can see it right in areas like right over here and right here are becoming less and less uh, visible. Anyway, Go ahead and get rid of that. Set the preview back to uh, 200. All right. Well, that so that's the the light fall off node. Uh, again, quadratic is uh, you know more realistic. Uh, linear is just a little bit less realistic, and then constant is not realistic at all. Um, and you, you can still control the strength uh, through. Uh, this node uh, right here and then you also you can smooth out some of the lights just to make them less intense. Now I'm going to talk briefly about the black body node which I think might be a new node that they've added. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. But this node basically controls the temperature of your light and um, the way it works is you have your color right here and we can make a we can make a guess as to what the temperature of our light will be and uh, and choose a color based on that so if it's like really really um, if it's not too hot it'll be more of an orangish color 
um, and usually if it's really really hot it will start getting kind of more of like a kind of like a light blue uh, something like that um, but a lot of that guesswork can be remedied by just using the black body node right now it's set to 1500 which is pretty hot to us but not too hot for a light bulb that's actually pretty cool and if we go ahead and plug that in uh, we can see it's just uh, bright orange right now um, if I go ahead and plug in quadratic it looks a little bit better now if we increase that temperature to say 5000 you can see the the lighting has gotten a little bit cooler that's still a little bit yellowish maybe a little bit on the orange side type that up to 10,000 now it's getting a little bit bluer And I'm not sure what this temperature is measured in. If knowing Blender, it's probably in the uh, Celsius. In fact, we hover over it, input value for unconnected socket, so it doesn't tell you. Um, I'm sure it's on the Blender wiki. But as you can see, once you get to a certain point, uh, the color uh, doesn't change too much. Uh, but you're, you're, I, I have a feeling that's mainly because you really don't get light bulbs that are this hot. And this really is um, something for meant to be used for uh, indoor lighting. So say you've got like you know dim light bulbs, light bulbs that aren't burning too hot. Um, you'll want to keep that at a lower uh, temperature. In fact, if I just set this to five degrees, now we've got kind of like a kind of like a a red district vibe going on with uh, with this scene. Anyway, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this uh, quick t uh, Blender tip. Um, maybe not so quick after all, but still. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, so rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.